hi guys so in this DIY video I want to quickly show you guys how I created this review landing page on my phone in less than 15 minutes so the name of the tool we're going to be used to do this is called launch echo um, this is the tool right here and it basically helps startup owners build simple landing pages on their cell phone and we're going to be using the free version so for you to get started, you'd have to come to where you have this green button right here and you tap on it to create your First website. First land on the site. If you've not registered, it will just show you a blue button. We create website for free. Tap right on that button and start. Once you tap on the green button, this will come up. Just type in the name of your company or startup right there. So here I'm typing in the startup report. That's what I'm going to use. And after that, scroll down to where you have something else since none of these options is what we're trying to create. And go ahead to select something else. After that, come to where you have, once you tap next, it will bring you here to where you have colors. Choose the color sets that fits with your brand. I will choose this green, one of the greens. And then choose the font that also matches with your brand. So you're going to find different fonts we'll go with friendly yeah so this is where you're going to land when you're here go to where you have heading and under heading type what you want people to see as the heading of your page now i'm going to be typing in readers voices remember that we are creating a review page for my newsletter okay so you can write yours as customer reviews what our customers are saying whatever you want to type in there the next you have is subheading now where you have subheading just typing like a little bit of more a little bit more detail about what this thing is about so i'm just going to write see what our readers are saying about the newsletter or something like that next i want you to note this green area now that green area you see is just for you to look at what your design looks like on desktop and mobile if you look at both you will see desktop and mobile so that's for you to review what it looks like next you will see this place with the color swatches like white black green it's for you to change the colors that you're seeing and as you can see the colors are changing you can tap the plus sign beside the colors to add more colors. For now, we want to change this color to pictures. So we'll tap on where you have, you know, make it more personal, add photo. And we're just going to go into the gallery here and look for a picture that I want to add as, you know, header image. So the image that people will see when they land on the landing page allow the picture to load if the picture is too large it will tell you there that the picture is too large so this is the picture that i selected i'm just going to go through till i select a picture that i really really like so this is the image that i decided to choose something that looks like a group of people reading now i want to change the green tint just a little bit like the blue and then notice that the button is blue i'll tap on that plus sign beside the colors the color swatches that i mentioned earlier so i'm just going to go and tap on that plus sign real quick and once i tap on it notice that the tint that was green has changed to this blue and note where you have background with the check mark i'm going to go down here and I'm going to change it to a shade that I like. I want it to be something in green, since green is one of my brand colors, and try to change it to a shade that I like. So then I'm going to go, after doing that, to this line right here and move the color all the way to where I have green. And then I will still move the other one, this one on top, till I find a shade of green that works for, for the header image. After doing this, the next thing to do is to choose a color button, also referred to as accent background. So now we're going to pick the perfect color that works for the button um, right there where you have the header image. The next thing to do after we've fixed the uh, button color 
if you notice i decided to go with black for the button color of the header image right there so the next thing to do is to go to where you have secondary text color which is the subheadings color to fix that color as well and i'm just going to pick a color i'm just going to move the small circle all the way to white just so that that will be in white versus in blue then i'm going to where you have after that um i'll go to where i have secondary background where you have this blue and i'm going to move the blue all the way to white as well and you can see what it looks like on desktop as well as what it looks like on mobile and when we're done i'm just going to tap finish and it's going to bring us here to this part of the screen great next thing i'm going to do is to come to the bottom of the page and tap next step now when i do that it will bring me here where you have call to action you have one link and i'm just going to quickly type in the link like what i'm going to call my button rather I'm changing it and I'm just typing that in. So once I'm done typing in, I want you guys to see that when you tap on where you have one link, you tap on where you have one link, different options are going to come up for you to choose if you want more than one link. Now, if you tap here where you have the email address, you can actually add your contact email address so that people can contact you to that particular area. Once we're done with this, if you scroll down, you're going to see different items. Tap on testimonial since you're creating a reviews page. Now, these items are different things that you can add to your landing page. So once we get to testimonial, so the first thing, if you look above, you know, the first box check area, box area you have, is where we're going to type in the review that the person has given us. So whatever the person said, um, this is where we're just going to type that in on the page now once we are done typing that in we'll go to the next page the next box rather where you have name and we'll type in the person's name that has given us the review and after that we'll type in their position whether it's founder of a company whatever their position is and they, maybe even if they work for somebody we'll type that in now when we're done we come down to where you have the tiny box beside it and would you like to make this personal you have to tap on that tiny box to upload the picture of the person that's giving you the review and i think that everybody should do this um, because it will just help make your landing page more personal so i'm just going to sorry make your reviews more personal so i'm just going to pick any of these stock photos to add into that particular box and when we're done this is what it's going to look like Tap testimonial again because we want to add, you know, a, um, another testimonial. But you can see what it looked like on desktop and on mobile. So we'll tap testimonial, another testimonial, and we'll add another one. Just like that, we're going to build out that testimonial area and add three different testimonial blocks. It's important that it's three, not one. You know, because three always looks good for everything for some reason. Three, six, nine, it just always works. So we'll type that in as well. So once we're done doing that with the testimonials, I'm just going to look at what it looks like on desktop right there versus what it looks like on mobile. And you can see these black arrows. If I tap them, you can see what each page looks like for the review area. After that, I'm going to tap on the features tool here because I want to show people that are reading this even more features that my newsletter has to push them to take the action that I want them to take, which is to register. So when I tap on feature and this comes up, I'm going to list a feature. So it can be anything. It can be free delivery or whatever. And then I'm going to give a short description of that feature. So the description tells people a little bit more about the feature that you have. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to tap on add feature below just to add another feature. Like I said, three always looks good versus just one. You notice after adding each feature, I come down to where you know you have icon. When I tap this comes up and I choose an icon that works well with the feature that I want to add. 
after that you can see what the features um, look like on the page as I scroll that's what they look like below the testimonial and I'm going to go and change the color of that feature because I want it to look better I'm just going to move it to black you can see how it looks on desktop and this is now how it looks on mobile so I want it to just I want the page to have a feeling then the next thing I will do is to pick another item to add to the page and I want to pick a call to action button so I'm going to add an action but an action a call to action button right here. Join our community and um and a small description and I'm going to fill in the call to action button itself because you have to have text for the call to action and then the button. And after that, I'm just going to once I'm done, I'll tap on finish and you will see what it looks like so this is what it looks like and the color is in white okay now after i'm done with this i would want to add something else just at the bottom of the page um so i'm going to look through the options that i have and then i'm going to choose to go with team members because i really want the landing page here to give life like i want the person to feel connected to the company so I'm going to add team members from the things below. So as I start trying to fill in team members, they would ask you to just write a brief header about your team members and just something fun about your team members and what describes them or what describes you, your company's team. So you just um, throw in something really creative like I did right here. So I just wrote some of our team members and I wrote um, below um, a short description of them. And when we're done with this, you will go, like after typing in this, scroll down to the page just for you to see what it looks like already on its own on the page. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. And then tap on colors because I don't want everything to be in white. So I'm going to pick a shade of green that matches that that particular area and will match the page and then tap on next step and when you now do that you will land here where you need to pick name title and a short description of the team member so name title and short description of the team member and when you're done filling all of this in you would also need to go down um, and add image the same way we added for the other one so right now I'm still typing. And after typing my description, I will go down to where I have add photo. And I'm going to add the picture. That I'll tap on photo just like we did before. And I will go through the pictures um, to look for the, a, a picture that I will use for each team member that I add. And when I'm done with picking a picture, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and add more team members until I have at least three different slides or images for team members. You can add as many as you want. So if you start working with this and you add three and you want to add another one, all you have to do is go back to where you have the items for the page, tap on a particular item add, that you want to add more of and you can just add more of it there. When I'm done with this, you will then see how the it looks like on this is mobile and you can also see how it looks like on desktop here as well I could choose to change the color or I could choose to just leave it this way it all depends on what I want so there you go I'm done creating my reviews landing page now for you to publish your website you have to tap on publish that's right below but if you have not registered they will ask you to register and verify your account before you can publish your website when I tap on publish, this is what will come up. And if the domain name comes up as invalid, just tweak it a little bit and tap and ultimately your link will be given to you. And this is the landing page, the review landing page that we have created.